Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel today. We are going to talk about Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. For more chapters and verse like this, subscribe our channel. The sagacious Sanjay, in his narration to Dhritarastra, uses very apt names for the personalities he refers to. Here, Arjun is called Gudakesh, or conqueror of sleep. The power of sleep is such that sooner or later all living beings succumb to it. But with his determination, Arjun had disciplined himself in such a way that sleep would come to him only when he permitted it, and only for the amount of time he chose. By using the name Gudakesh for Arjun, Sanjay is subtly hinting to Dhritarastra. Just as this hero amongst men conquered sleep, so too will he conquer his despondency. And the word he uses for Sri Krishna is Hrishikesh, or master of the mind and senses. The subtle hint here is that he who is the master of his senses will definitely ensure that the events are properly managed. Verse 10. In sharp contrast to Arjun's words of lamentation, Sri Krishna smiled, displaying that the situation was not making him despair. Rather, he was perfectly happy with it. Such is the equanimous attitude exhibited by someone with knowledge in all situations. With our incomplete understanding, we find faults with the situations we are in. We complain and grumble about them, wish to run away from them, and hold them responsible for our misery. But the enlightened souls inform us that the world created by God is perfect in every way, and both good and bad situations come to us for a divine purpose. They are all arranged for our spiritual evolution, to push us upward in our journey toward perfection. Those who understand this secret are never disturbed in difficult circumstances, facing them with serenity and tranquility. The snowflakes fall slowly to the ground, each flake in its proper place, is a famous Taoist expression. It beautifully expresses the inherent perfection in the design of the world and the macro events taking place in it, even though we are not able to perceive it from our material perspective. The Chandogya Upanishad explains why earthquakes, hurricanes, cyclones, floods, and typhoons are created in the world by God as a part of the grand scheme of things. It states that God deliberately creates difficult situations to prevent people from slowing down in their journey of spiritual progress. When people become complacent, a natural calamity comes along, forcing the souls to strain their abilities to cope with it, which ensures their progress. However, it must be noted that the progress being talked about here is not the external increase of material luxuries, but the internal unfoldment of the glorious divinity of the soul over a continuum of lifetime.